head out. Yeah, it's good. And uh, as a follow-up from my little rant a few minutes ago, I'm going to turn my air conditioner off. It's a lot quieter now, isn't it? But I'm also going to uh, perhaps make a more reason commentary. We're going to get started on the Market Garden Battle Command series game. And whilst I uh, am playing this game primarily so I can physically feel and see the geographic regions and the units involved and uh, perhaps get a little bit of a feel for these units got moved over here uh, get a little bit of a feel for who was where and when <coughs> in totality for the area and the uh, the the the, uh, the battle per se um, uh, i'm playing this also uh, so that i can uh, take it down at another level and play where eagles dare and uh, devil's cauldron so whilst Do you like my UFOs? Aren't they cool? Uh, whilst this is an overview, we've got Eindhoven and we've got Margin and Arnhem, Arnhem and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, this is really a perfunctory kind of a game and, and I appreciate it for its design intent. I think the designer took the no retreat approach in trying to design for effect with rules and uh, specifics about unit types and supply and replenishment and refitting and combat and battle groups and they did a really good job with what they had I, I kind of feel without having played it yet I feel like the publisher let them down here and I know Worthington is a small company so this is not a a rag on Worthington. Although you have one of the greatest games, potential games on uh, stock there with uh, boots on the ground that you fail to communicate with the rest of the marketplace about what you're going to do with it. It's a great title. It needs a lot of work, but it's a great title. Anyway, we're going to play this game. I'm going to start now. I'm going to play it all the way through. Not tonight, but... Uh, I will not post a whole lot of other stuff until I get this done. I'm going to play it as accurately as possible. I uh, certainly like the counters, certainly like the counter art, I like the fonts. I think the map is kind of average and deplorable to a certain degree. It's just, it's just not exciting. I don't like the way it lays out. I got to put perspex or, or plexiglass over the top of it to make it sit right despite folding it backwards several times. I do like the impulse track. I think that's a cool idea. So really we're getting kind of four turns. The rules have lots of uh, questions to them. And, I'm, and I'm, I just can't be bothered posting requests for answers. So I'm just going to play it the way I think it works and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> All right. I'm losing my voice. I've been out all night talking in a loud restaurant so I'll post some pictures and we'll play <laughs> 